Are you the construction truck here for my job? No? Oh, okay. I thought maybe that was the truck I ordered to come help me do this job. Well, guys, today we are going to be putting our house here on the lot. We're also going to prep the land over for our barn, but we don't have the barn ready to go yet. But we do have some parts for the barn that we're going to have to haul uh, out as well yet. Hopefully, we'll get that done today. I suppose to start, we're going to go and uh, pick up uh, some of the tools we're going to need. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you like and subscribe. If we hit 100 150,000 subs by November 22nd. I'll give you, well, I'll give away 10 copies of Farm Sim 22. By the way, guys, we are almost exactly a month away from the release of Farm Sim 22. So who's excited for that? I don't know if you guys saw Giants' blog post today, but they announced that they've made some changes based on your feedback that you've given them. And I think the coolest change that they've made so far is the implementation of up to 28 days for a season. It was previously locked at 12 and, uh, well, people didn't really like that. So they've been, been doing some work and uh, they think they might have gotten it to where we can go up to 28 days. So it's really cool to see that uh, Giants is taking the feedback from the community and actively trying to make these changes. Boy, did my brakes not work. Anyways, let's get over to the shop and pick up our tools. Look at that train going across. That is so cool. All right, we made it up here to the shop. We're just going to pull on in. And the first thing we're going to get down to the construction site is that truck and excavator or mini, uh, ooh, I hit the building. Mini excavator, I suppose it's called. So we're going to load this onto the back of this is what I'm thinking. Oh, first we got to get this put onto the truck so let's go ahead and fire up the truck we'll turn on our whooshy wash lights now all we should have to do is back right on up here i'm gonna pull the hydraulic and we're gonna extend that arm out these trucks are really really cool if you guys haven't ever seen them before so now we just back the arm up right up here and we're gonna connect it to the construction flatbed we've got here now that we've got that up underneath it should lock in and all we have to do is retract the hydraulics and that is on rollers so it'll roll right right on up you see they got rollers right there on the bed to roll it and the rollers on the back and right there we go now we've got the flatbed loaded up oh you know actually thinking about it i probably let's undo that let's go ahead and drop that back off i probably should try and i don't know if it'll work but put the uh excavator on there first so we're gonna see what happens okay so what we've done is drop this side right here now we're gonna try and pull this thing up on there i have no idea if this is gonna work correctly or not but we're gonna give it a try i think i might have to try and back it on here there we go right up onto it and then turn it turn it turn it all right there we go well there we go we got it strapped on as well so now we'll just lift and lock this side back in and now theoretically i should be able to just retract this arm there we go that's how you do it oh that's neat oh it's a little heavy though got our truck popping a wheelie oh i probably should have pulled that a little farther forward on that bed look at this our truck is uh well as grant might say oh she's squatting boys but either way let's get this uh, on up to the construction site shall we oh, oh boy all of you fellas i may have forgot that it's a uh, it's a little top heavy that's all right that's all right. We can get it. I have faith in my ability to tip this thing back over. Look at our dude in the seat. He's just straight up hitting his head on the roof every single time. Doink, doink. <laughs> Man, that thing is heavy. All right. Well, we got it. Now let's get on up to the uh, construction site. Oh, don't tip. We're good. Also, guys, check it out. Right up here to the left, we can see that that field got no oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Completely harvested, and they actually cultivated it all as well. I missed my turn. Back it on up. All right, we have made it back to the construction site. So let's just back this right on into the kind of corner here. Right there ought to do, and we're going to extend that down. Don't wheelie, don't wheelie, don't wheelie. Ooh, that was close. There we go. We've got this all ready to get unloaded. We still have... Yeah, to get the materials we're gonna need out here problem is now i've left my truck so i've got to find a way oh we got to get rid of that stump we'll have to dig that out so i've got to find a way to like get down there and uh i guess we'll do our work with this first and then we can take this truck back and then we can get the other one so i think the first thing that i want to do is dig up the uh tree stumps we've got sitting right around here so we're gonna get these tree stumps out of here and then once we've done that we're gonna lower that front plow and we're 
we're gonna try and rip up this ground now that plow is not really designed for ripping things up so uh it might not work but i'm hoping that we can make it work well that isn't actually working like i planned this bucket's having a hard time ripping up this tree root so i think i'm just gonna grind the stump but that means we're gonna have to go back and get the stump grinder so i suppose back over to the shop we go and uh we'll catch you guys once we got the stump grinder back over here all right here's the stump grinder on a massey ferguson tractor we're gonna load this right up into the box this time from the back and get this right back up to the construction site oh this might be a little challenging okay come on lift don't hit the ground don't hit the ground no oh, the stump grinder hit the ground well it'll be all right we've got it lifted up we'll get back over to the construction site now truck watch out truck watch out truck i got it no you jerk come on guy what you're gonna hit your head jeez buddy either you're really short of this truck is really tall wait a minute but seriously nope nope you are average height but okay whatever there we go now we got packed in and drop that off and we'll get these stumps grinded we're gonna have one of our hired hands grind the stumps here so while they do that we're gonna run back and get a semi load of materials brought out here yet back at the shop we've got another truck ready to go with a big old trailer i'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and just get it all warmed up but we've got to get this trailer loaded now this isn't really the right trailer to use for what we're gonna load but it's the one we have as you guys can see we've got these beams that we have to get loaded up so we're gonna use the forklift that we've got here or the wheel loader i should say and we're gonna hopefully pick these up and get them loaded up now i think the laws of physics and weight distribution are gonna say that i should pick it up from the top point here that just will prevent it from kind of tipping over on us and i have apparently got it we're not going to ask questions we are only going to accept that this is our reality all right you know i had to set that back down it just was not picking up even i really should have a couple guys with ropes tied to each end kind of uh guiding it but you know we don't have that today so we'll just have to make do with what we've got there we go right up underneath the top and just pick it right on up nice and even this time come on that's better that's quite a bit better all right now the challenging thing is i have to get it out of this door and obviously we're a little too wide for that so i think we might have to do something that if i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna be a big fan of but we'll sneak through here and give it a try i think i'm gonna have to give it a bit of a push through here which i am not the biggest fan of because we could completely destroy this wood pushing it along the ground like this we have to be careful not to hit a major lip there and we're just gonna push this right on outside make sure our fork doesn't slide off of it because i could oh there it went all right one more try here just nice and easy we're gonna push it right on out and then we can pick it back up and load it onto the trailer all right we got it pick back up now we're just gonna slowly bring it over to the trailer and i'm hoping to get all three of these in one load we'll see if that works all right guys we're only gonna be able to get two of them at a time but we've got them on the trailer unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to strap them down so we're just gonna have to drive real careful and hope that we're able to get to the destination this isn't necessarily a overly large load but it does have some length to it and it is rather delicate these being transported as the pre-built instead of just building them on site in a complete honesty i probably could have got the third one on there but i had these two on and i was not about to try and push them over to make room for the third but we'll get this load on up to the construction site and this should be the last of the work that we have to do ourselves the rest is contracted out oh there goes the train choo choo that train is so quiet dude i think they run electric trains out here all right we've made it back to town buddy's coming so we should be able to make this wide turn watch out on the side sidewalk there fellas i'm gonna need all as much room as i can get i would have loved to have taken that sidewalk a little more but we barely cleared it we're good let that truck go by and then we'll make the round turn there so i'll just go right around here hopefully no one's coming and this should uh get us right up to our place oh bad place to meet him Ooh. oh is he gonna make it oh he nicked our trailer what a jerk well our trailer's gonna go on the sidewalk a bit now because i had to really get over jeez all right the last blind turn and and we have made it we are here now we are going to have to shut down the road right here for a little bit while we try to get these unloaded well guys it's gonna seem a little sketchy but we're gonna use a little kubota to load these off of here what we're gonna do is lift that up as high as we can get it we might even get extra sketchy and put this 
this on the truck just to get some more height. We're going to use a chain to lift these one by one off of the trailer. And then from there, we are good to go on the construction process. Just got to clear all this stuff out of here and uh, lay the foundation and, and get the house put up. Oh, also the uh, local police did come out here and they're doing some traffic control for us while we have our truck parked here. So we need to hurry up and get this offloaded because every hour that they're here, I am paying a large amount of money. All right, guys, it took a while, but we are finally done building the house. We moved everything over here for the time being. And there is the house. A little bit different of a style, quite a bit of different style for, compared to everybody else's homes around here, but very, very beautiful. As you guys can see, we laid some new sod in as well. We also had this uh, concrete poured right here for the garage. And by the way, this transformer, we are working with the electric company to get it uh, relocated. As you guys can see there, every once in a while, they got these transformers and this one just ends up right in the way of a garage. So we'll be, we will be having it moved wherever we can get. Now, if we step around back, we really need to mow the yard, but we'll see. We've got a little patio grill out area. We've got our mower sitting over here and of course our recycle and trash and everything. All in all, this is an absolutely gorgeous house. Although in case you were wondering, for those of you who might want to get this house, no, you cannot go inside it. This one does not have an interior, unfortunately, but I thought it looked nice, so I figured we'd give it a try anyways. But y'all, there you have it. We've got the construction process done. I hope you all enjoyed. Next, we'll be getting our barn put up, and uh, then we can really get into having fun here. But that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace! Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.